Hello and welcome back to part nine, or is it part 10? Because there is also the first video where you see me and I'm introducing the platform. Let's call it part nine. So in part nine, we will continue on with our menu application. Now, generally, once we've created our security menu with security as we had just done so, here we had generated all of our security applications. We have the option to change the password, add new users, edit users. We have a list of users. We also have the login page, an application to retrieve the password, as well as a settings application, which we had just generated in the previous video. Now, that had also generated here our security menu. And what I'm going to do, first of all, is change here the name of our menu because I really do not like that it's called sec underscore menu. So I'll just call it menu. And generally, when we rename applications, Scriptcase automatically sees that that application is linked to another application. Okay, so here Scriptcase sees your application is linked to the following applications, and that is the sec login. So here we can then choose to rename the links automatically, as well as to regenerate the source code of those modified applications. So in this case, sec login. Okay, so with those checked, I will click OK, and Scriptcase will go ahead and make those adjustments for me and at the same time, generate both the menu and the login page, which has been modified. So what I'm gonna quickly do is come back here to security, and I'm also going to come here to the sec login page, okay? And we can go ahead and run that. And we can just make sure that it directs to our menu correctly, which it should do. There we go, just like that. Okay, so in some cases, you may need to modify that yourself. And if you come here to the sec login page, you may notice here for the on validate event. So once we log in and I scroll down here, we have lots of code here. We have the global variables that are being added and so forth. Okay, and then on validate success, we then load here the method SC validate success. So if I come here to programming, PHP methods, scroll down here and check out here the SC validate success. We have then here the SC redire. So, okay, so this is the redirect macro used with script case. And that has automatically updated here the sec underscore menu. Now, in some cases you may want to adjust that yourself and you do that here. Just change here the name of the application that you want to have first when you log in with your security. Of course, you may want to add some further options here for some validations and so forth. If it's an administrator, you may want to have a different dashboard or a different menu or whatever. Again, you can apply that with ease here. Okay, so now that we've just checked that out and we've adjusted our menu, let's come back then to our route as well as then opening our menu application. And at the moment, all we have here now are all of the security applications. Now, if we hadn't generated the security menu with the security, if that makes sense, then we would have created our own menu. So maybe previous to generating security, you created your menu, you had added all of your objects, with, which was an option. And I believe in the original videos, it is also the path that one took. But I've gone ahead and made some adjustments here and there, and I figured making the security first because that also generates the menu. Okay, so from here, we can then go ahead and click here, insert item, for instance, and manually add menu items in here. For instance, I could just change the name. I can then link the application to anything. I can click here, the link, for instance, and that opens this little window with all of my applications, and then I can manually choose them, import that, and then just like that, this new menu item links then to the grid loaned. I can also just check it and delete it if that is something I want to do. So I'll go ahead and save that for now. And what I want to do is actually import all of the applications. So I can import all of them here. I can just check that. 
and remove here all of the sex settings, for instance, all of the security applications, because they are already available. But then we have all of the other applications which we have generated. Now, you may not want here the forms because, of course, they are linked to the grid applications. So I will remove those and then click Import. And then just like that, Scriptcase has then gone ahead and added all of these applications for us. So from there, I will go ahead and click Save again. And now I will again choose all of my items here, selecting all of them, and then I will move them up with the arrow here. Of course, I can even move them in and out if I wanted to so that I have drop menus and so forth, which is something we will do in a moment. But for now, I'll just select them all like that, click Save again, and then we can go ahead and make adjustments to this menu so that it, you know, it looks how we want it to look, really. So we have here our grid persons. I will move that one up. And I will again save that so that it remains in that position and doesn't take over anything else. And then here I will change the name of that first object for my grid persons to persons. Okay, so below persons, I want to add a new object. And again, I will save. And then I'll come back here to my item and I'll change that then to objects like so. Again, I will click save. And then I can move here my grid objects. Let's move that one up and out like so. Save again. And let's then also move, for instance, the families. So where do we have the grid families, which we didn't actually include because, of course, it's only a form and I had removed all the forms. So let's go ahead and insert an individual item. And this one I can then call families. Okay, like so. Save that. I will then take that one up here to the grid objects. Again, save. And then choose it and adjust it. Again, I'll go save. And then I will add here the form. And there we have form family objects, import that. And just like that, we have then our objects nearly ready. Of course, I will want to adjust here the name. So let me change that to objects, again, save. And just like that, we have then our next folder ready. So if I come then here to families, I will click include again. And that one I actually want in. So I'll change that, I'll again save. And then this one, let's call that then um, loaned items or loaned like so and here we want to then include the grid loaned so if I grab that one and move that one up and out like so save that I also want to have here my control returned objects there so I will nudge that one out also and again save that so then I will change here the name here to loaned and here returned like so and save that once more. Okay, so then we still have here in our information. So I will add a new option here. I will again save that and then I will change here the name to information like so. Save that again. And then I can make adjustments here to all of the grids. So then we have the loan detail, the grid loan, the history, uh, the all of these other info applications we have here. And I can nudge them all out and then they are all part of the information. OK, and if I go ahead and run that now, we then have a menu like so that opens up all of our applications. OK. And of course, we can make further adjustments to this menu, such as the theme. You may want to choose a completely different option here. And there are plenty of themes here to choose from for the menu. We have horizontal as well as vertical options. And I'll just save that. And just like that, we have then our menu. Now, we may want to also add some icons to this. So I'll choose persons here. And then here in icons, I can choose a new icon. And I can add images if I wanted to. But I'm not going to do that. I'm really a fan of uh, the font awesome icons. So I'll choose here font awesome icons. And then here I will choose then a user, for instance. Let's do that. Let's actually go multiple. So we have like a group of people. 
And then for objects, again, also add font awesome icons. And what would we have for that? Let's go, is there a, let's go with book something along those lines and well, we just give it a tag. How about that? A nice tag object. Okay. And then we also have here our loaned. Again, I'll choose font awesome icons. And for loaned, let's see if there is something for a switch maybe. Okay. Or something else that would actually match this. There we go. This exit symbol would do nicely. We know then it's also out. And we then also have our information option here. Again, I'll choose display font awesome icons. And then here I can then add, say, an info. So we want an exclamation mark maybe. And just like that, I can add an exclamation mark in there. And just like that, it is saved. Of course, we still want to add here for the security. So let me adjust here font or some icons also. And here, for instance, I can add a key and that then also provides an icon for that. So let's go ahead and save that, run that application again. And there we have our menu, okay? And of course we have our header up here. We may want to make some adjustments to that. And that we have here in our layout. We have here the header and footer. Okay, so here we have the username, the user login already included here within the values, as well as here an application title. So let me change here the title, loaned objects. Okay, just like that, we have a new title in there. We already have then the username and the login of that user displayed here, so I will leave those. Of course, we can make further adjustments to the menu structure here by dragging and dropping options or uh, objects should I say into the menu and then I can adjust that and add an image in here add the date in here even add an entire library if I wanted to or methods and so forth in this case today we don't really need it but it's there so of course I'm just going to save that as it is for now and what we want to do then is actually come here to our events so on execute is when we then launch our application. And we see here, script case already add, add some code in here, and we want to add some further options in here. So we have then also our menu items. So let's come back here to our menu items. And we have here our info grid loaned. Okay, and on this grid, if you remember, we had a custom select added where we are then requesting a variable. Okay, so we could either customize the link here so it includes the variable here, but in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to change the view depending on the item that has been selected. And I just noticed a mistake there because of course, if you remember, we had created an included grid and that is here, grid ink loan detail. We don't need that, so I'm going to select that and delete that from the menu. Of course, I would go ahead and save that so that is not there anymore and the grid loan detail here, that is also not needed. So I will delete that one also. Again, save the menu. And just like that, we have made some little adjustments here to the menu. But now we will need to figure out which of these applications is the one that we had linked to. And if I remember correctly, that was here, the grid loaned, and that is item number 16. Okay, so if I come here to on execute, and then if I say, for instance, I'll just copy and paste this here, and I will need to make some adjustments here because there's info grid loaned, okay? And there we had then the variable status or the var status. And if we're saying that it includes nothing, that's fine. And then here we also need to include the item number of our menu item. So here I change the item to 16, okay? So if it is number 16, then we add this. So if I go ahead and run that again, and then come here to loan, sorry, information, and then grid loaned, it takes us then to this grid application. Okay, so that menu item, we actually want to replicate that one now. So here I can actually go ahead and select that. And what I want to do is actually include it again. So I will again add here in the link, info grid loaned, Okay, like so, import, save that. And I will include it once more, it, okay? And again, add a new item. And again, I will link that to the same table again. Info grid loaned, import like so. Okay, and save. 
Okay, and then we can change here the title to loaned items. Like so. And we can also then change the title of this one to returned items. Okay. Now do take note here of the item number. Now we are a bit higher now. We have item 24 and item 25. So if I come here to my on execute again, and this time I will copy some more code in here and we're making some adjustments here. So we had item 24 and item 25. And we had 24 as out and 24 as in. So we just need to adjust here the correct name. So it is info grid loaned and we have a status of loaned or returned or no status at all. So if I go ahead and run that again, we have them within the grid application now. Further options, load items, returned items. Okay, just like that. And then we also have, of course, the entire view of all items there. Okay, and of course, we may want to then come back to our menu application and just finalize our names here for our title, should I say, for each of these items. So history. Okay, I'll save. We have then um, object loan list. Let's call it that. Save that as, as well. We have then our list of objects. Let's just call it objects list, like so. We have then also objects loaned. Okay, and we also have our grid persons. So let's say persons list like so. And just like that, our menu is then ready. We have then finished our application. In fact, we could make some further adjustments here to this. So let's go and add one more here to the on load event. And here, I just wanna add some styling in here. So what we do then is we open and close or close and open our PHP statement here, okay? Because we want to add some styling in here. So I'll just go style and let's close that also up. And then we could just, I'm just gonna copy and paste the style in here. Okay, and I'm just gonna place that in there like so. And if I go ahead and run, in fact, we're missing the brackets here. And if I go ahead and run, it will then make adjustments to the menu for the label. Of course, we can add styling in there for anything. And if I come here back to our menu, let's just double check that. If I come here to inspect on our loaned items, and we have here SC header font. So let me actually just copy that. And we can actually apply that right there, look. So if I say the SC header menu font and full stop that and run again, we'll change the color of that, the font size, and add some nice shadow to that also. Now notice, of course, it's adjusted over to the right here. So we may want to make further adjustments to that, maybe not having the text so large, say for instance. So let's change that to a 1.1 and then there we go. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this week's video. I hope you've enjoyed this mini course on creating a loan slash rental system. Of course, check out the Scriptcase channel. There are tons of videos there. And of course, if you are wanting some one-on-one -on -one training, some consultation, I am available for that. And at the same time, check out my store. I have some templates there that will also make your life much easier within Scriptcase. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this mini course and I will catch you sometime in the future. Thank you again for watching.